All right, everybody, this is the annual six-pack challenge. We are starting with C.J. Price, who drew number one against Aaron Douglas, who drew number two. Uh, Aaron Douglas is actually breaking a record today. He will, this is his fifth appearance in a six-pack challenge. There have been seven of them as of now, and this is his fifth consecutive six-pack challenge. So he is literally the guy, the veteran of the six-pack challenge. He breaks the three-way tie that he had with Eric Drake and Big C for most appearances in a six-pack challenge. I, myself, Rush, have been in three. Dave Dawson has been in three. But nobody has been as many as this man, Mr. No. Two-Time Everything, Aaron no. Douglas. Uh, and then C.J. Price, who has had a monstrously long heavyweight title reign since February, is in the toughest match of his career as he'll be fight, fighting to keep that heavyweight title. Something that no other man has done in a six-pack challenge. All six times the heavyweight champion has lost the match. He has not retained. There's been instances at least two to three times where the heavyweight champion didn't even make it to the final two. So CJ drawing number one is very unlucky. CJ did draw number uh, one last year and he made it to the final two but it just ran out of gas in the tank. That's actually the match where Boucher won the heavyweight title, the guy he defeated to win it. Now I can tell you that I've been in three of these matches and they are grueling. You want to try to draw higher. There, when I started there was this, the champion's advantage where champion would come out number six. That was prevalent for the first two, the rule changed and it affected guys immediately. Big C went into the match, nice drop down. Nice pull of line by CJ Price, the champion standing strong right now, toe kick. Punch to the back, nice club, and a kick. Yeah, Big C entered number three in the 2011 six pack challenge and he was eliminated earlier in the match. He did not make the final two. I don't even think he made the final four. Going for a suplex here. Blocked by Douglas. It's coming up on three minutes before we get a next entrance. Two count, Douglas does not get the pin on CJ. We've never had an instance either where somebody eliminated a wrestler early in the match where they got a couple of minutes of downtime. Five minutes is not enough to wear down a heavyweight title contender or champion for that matter. Douglas is another guy that fell victim to defending his title in the six pack challenge. He had to defend in the 2012, there's two in 2012, the first one he had to defend in and he lost to Humberto. Notable people that have defended the title in the six pack challenge and lost it go as follows. Dave Dawson lost in the first one, then Justin Moore in 2009, Big Sky in 2011, and then the two in 2012 were Aaron Douglas and Humberto, and then I defended last year, and I, I did not even make the final two. I was the uh, second to last guy eliminated. So five, you know, star studded of WMWA alumni and current wrestlers did not successfully retain the title. Those are six of the matches. Oh. Douglas going for a close to the ground right there. Both these guys have phenomenal, phenomenal cardio. But it's going to be put to the test here. Shoulder ah. oh. thrust right into there. Right oh. in the midsection of Douglas. These guys had a, a stellar one-on-one -on -one title match at uh, show 121. Just laying the punches in. Uh-oh. Big atomic drop right there. Off the second rope. We're less than a minute away from our next entrance into the match. Douglas looks like he's going to the high rent district. He is at the top ah. rope. Uh oh! Uh oh! Ah. oh my God! What a uh, what a flip off the top rope there! Almost like a super northern light suplex right there. Aaron Douglas flipped at the last second. I didn't think he was going to make that one. We are left in 30 seconds ah. away from our next entrance into the match. We'll see who drew number three, and uh, ah. they're going to come out here, and their odds are they're going to be like a ball of fire because these guys are a little worn down. We're about to hit that 10 second countdown for the next entrance. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Challenge debut last year, and he was very impressive in that match. Coming in with a second, eliminating myself. Oh, ah! Clothesline over the top rope, and CJ goes flying. CJ's laid out right now. And there's Taylor Mays. And the first plate of chops has been served. Into a cover. CJ uh, needing a breather right now because I mean, getting pulled on all the top rope. There is no more patent over here, folks, so he got it pretty bad. Taylor May just having his way with Douglas. And these three guys had a killer match in 2012 right after their stable next to Ken broke up at the 4th of July show where CJ was bloody and battered and Aaron Douglas successfully defended his heavyweight title. What a flying elbow by the big man, Taylor Mays. Big kick by CJ Price picking his spots right there. All these three guys are phenomenal talents, the future and current of Doug Gray. Taylor Mays actually defeated CJ at the Hunter Show for the hybrid title. Taylor had an extraordinary hybrid title run just last year. And CJ Price himself and Aaron Douglas are both two-time hybrid champions. Taylor also briefly was Supreme Champion, so if he could win this match, he'd also not only be a heavyweight champion, he'd make himself a Triple Crown winner. Going to work on the, the wrist right now with CJ Price. These guys had a, that's a match you want to see right there. CJ and Taylor, last show, killer. Heavyweight title match. Whether you like CJ Price or not, and I know most of the WWE fans do not. He's very airy. Nice backbreaker, inverted backbreaker by Taylor Maid. And it looks like he's gonna try to roll him over into a cover. Now sometimes there are alliances in this. See, people will team up and they will work together. I, I've done that with Angel Dust in 2009. We worked together a little bit. That's how Big C won in 2009, that same very match. Uh, Aaron Drake formed Bafoyeo that teamed up. And Dawson and Justin Moore teamed up in that match too. So there's a little like, you know, Almost like a three-way tag team dance at some points in the match. I was working with CJ a little bit last year before he betrayed me. Taylor comes flying off the top rope to break that one up. Sometimes people get almost so egotistical they want to be the guy that eliminates the wrestler. So they'll break whether or not they want that guy in or not. We are two minutes away from the next entrance, number four. After you get number four, it, it's just, you know, you can have two guys fighting each other separately around the ring. Depends what goes on. It, it starts to break down a little bit more once uh, the other combatants get in the ring. It's crazy to think such a young guy like Aaron Douglas has been in so many of these matches. Taylor and CJ both made their debuts last year. In which won the match of the year, 2013. Damn, CJ goes flying out of the ring, losing all his weight. Aaron Douglas having a hard time breathing right now. This is Douglas. Wow, he actually got the boots in the face right there on the flip. Nice reversal counter by uh, Aaron Douglas. Kick to the midsection. Douglas going off the rope. Famous serve by Douglas. And a stinger splash right there. Douglas on fire right now. Big swinging DDT. Into a cover on Taylor. Long two count. Taylor does get the shoulder up. Coming up on 30 seconds away from the next entrance into the match. It's just, like I said folks, it is going to get crazier as this match goes on. Irish whip by Douglas. Taylor goes off the rope. Holds on. Low bridges him. And Douglas goes flying outside the ring. Hi Aaron Douglas. <laughs> I was actually 
stable mates with all three of these guys. It's amazing how, how much a year can change things in WMWA. Uh oh, he caught him for the close up by her. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, damn, Douglas is dead. And he clotheslines CJ, and he's going for the Irish whip. Spine ah. buster by Evan. Uh oh. Ah. Got him like a Boston Crab Walls well, of Jericho right there. Ah. No. Ah. 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 Fights out of that one. Taylor and Douglas are down outside the ring here. Oh. Crazy spot that happened out there. Crazy scenario. CJ having his way with Evan. Another former uh, set of uh, heavyweight combatants that had a great title match this year. And uh, CJ got his having his way right now still. Evan. Uh oh. What a German suplex by Evan Payne. Younger brother of Ethan Payne. Ethan actually was in the very first six pack challenge in 2005, and he made the final three before being eliminated by Angel Dust. So, the younger brother, younger of the two Paynes, getting in, getting in this match for the first time. He's taking it to Taylor around the outside, getting him in the ring now. And Evan also bringing up Aaron Douglas. He's stomped right outside the ring. That's got to hurt. Oh. Evan making sure everyone's in the ring. Oh. Nobody, he doesn't want anyone catching a breather right now. Oh. He's exchanging uppercuts. Oh. And right to the jaw of Taylor. CJ throws some killer elbows. Evan knows. that It knocked Evan out cold uh, just a few shows ago in a champion versus champion match. Evan is the reigning hybrid champion right now. Evan would, if, if he could win this, would be the first ever hybrid heavyweight champion. I mean, the match takes a toll on you folks. I mean, Taylor, Taylor is still getting his cardio back. Taylor, this is only his second match back after a, a serious leg injury. Evans had a few injuries himself too, and, and Aaron Douglas and CJ Price started this match, so you gotta imagine five and six are gonna have their way if, if they can uh, they can start with a ball of fire. What a running knee by CJ Price, the heavyweight champion, taking it. Uh, Aaron Douglas. CJ Price has always been jealous of Aaron Douglas. CJ Price was the first person in the youth movement of the next generation of WMWA to win the heavyweight title. Did that in 2012. CJ Price only the second person uh, of the next generation stars to be heavyweight champion. Evan Payne is used 2014 to get back on the map here. He won his first title, uh, the hybrid title, three years ago bouncer and he just won it against Bobby Otis a few months ago. So, three year gap between championships. Douglas, I know I felt those chops before. Douglas throw some heavy chops for a little guy. We are one minute away from the fifth entrance into the match. Uh-oh. Who's your grace? Douglas! Nice drop kick by Aaron. Aaron coming up on 90 shows in a row. A single show. An unprecedented record. Taylor's having his way. Unfortunately, this is what happens, you know, there's there's a lot of chaos. There could be literally three, once all guys, all six guys get out there, you could literally have three pinfalls at the same time. So it is a this is probably the toughest match in any single ref. So we gotta give the ref a lot of credit here. 
what a baseball slide and Evan goes out of the ring. And we are, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And here comes the property. Southern Discomfort is in the house. And it will be backyard in this match. Otis escorting his property down to the ring. Very proud of him. You got him. Going right after Aaron Douglas. Backyard actually won his first heavyweight title off of Aaron Douglas two years ago. Douglas, former two-time champion. So is Backyard. We are just one entrance away. Damn, Taylor's hung up on that second roll. And CJ with a dirty low blow. Uh oh. Sunset flip into a cover. Long two, no go. Kick to the midsection. Uh oh. What a huge choke slam by Backyard on the champ. Champ could be out. It would be. Something to see if the champion was out first. Drop kick. Again, Evan gets killed on the outside here. He's got to be careful. Big chop in the backyard. Second one. Aaron actually was in backyards. Bobby o Southern is, but they kicked him out. Long two again. I gotta imagine, even though it's not as hot as it's been this summer, back here it's gotta be a little warm in that whole overall getup that Bobby Otis has him wear. It's amazing because back here was very reluctant and he became property of Bobby Otis, understandably so, but now he just seems to enjoy being with the whites. Him and Colonel Biscuit and Bobby Otis. Here to stay one of us, boy. Uh, Evan trying to get back up there. Evan landed hard with his right arm. Like I said, no padding out here today. Surfboard by CJ, or Taylor on CJ. That's your kind of choking Douglas right now. Uppercoat by CJ. I'm having a hard time keeping up with all this stuff. So if I miss something, just deal with it. Evan recovering right now. Found by CJ Price on Taylor. Evan getting back the ring right now. Feeling it. <laughs> Trying to choke Douglas right now. Back here with himself a piece of Evan. CJ is laying waste to people, just throwing punches at wherever he can. We are two, just under two minutes away from the last entrance into the match. Backyard caught him red-handed last show. He is the guy that took out Dave Dawson. Dave Dawson said he was going to be here today. We have not seen him all show. Uh-oh. It's starting to become a mess out here. That's what kind of happens when you get five people out there in the ring. We're still waiting for another, another wrestler, so... Wow, it, it's, I, don't, I don't even want to know what's going on here. CJ to the top rope. Aaron, Aaron on the outside right now. Backyard's down, Evan's down. Looks like Evan, uh, Aaron and Taylor are setting up CJ for something. I don't, I don't even want to speculate. Superplex maybe? Sense of Superflex. Douglas trying to help out here. Oh Jesus. High risk, high reward. Or they, they do call high risk for, for a reason. They could could not pay out for any of them. God! Double superflex on CJ Price. Douglas and Taylor working together briefly. Common enemy. Now, folks, we are 30 seconds away from the last entrance into this match. Backer breaks up the count on Douglas. A lot of guys want to proceed. They want to be the one that gets the eliminations here. 
Backyard into a cover. Douglas breaks that up. At this rate, we may never see the elimination. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Everyone fears him because he is he is fresh. Everyone in this match is tired. Taylor's saying he wants a piece. Evan might want a piece too. Douglas standing up to him too. Nobody uh, appreciates the fact of how popular Armani is. They're all teaming, they're all getting up with Armani here. Armani fighting him off. I think they see Armani as one of the big threats they want to do stuff about him. It's just getting ugly out here right now. Backer goes down. Shovel gets right on Taylor. Rips Taylor off. Stuck in the clothesline. Armani goes down. Too much action to call here, folks. Long one count, but not enough, definitely not enough to keep Armani down. Armani way too fresh right now. That's why they threat, they fear Armani because that six guy can really pick his spots and try to find the weakest guy remaining. Oh, oh what a kick by Armani! Yeah. Armani killing Taylor right now. Those kicks that Armani does, they are no joke. Armani has set his sights on the heavyweight champion right now, CJ Price. These guys met in one hell of a champion versus champion match. These are the only two in the ring right now. Taylor's down, Evan's, Evan is down, and Beckard and Aaron are fighting on the outside. They're trying to negotiate right now. Armani not having any of it. We want that Oh, oh. And Beckard catches Aaron on the outside. Aaron going down. Roll up by CJ. Long two. Some people, what a Superman punch by heaven. Some people think Armani is the favorite here. And the fact he drew six, nobody knew he was going to draw number six. And that CJ was going to draw number one. That does put CJ in quite the predicament. But, I mean, you got to look at former heavyweight champ, too, and that would be Aaron Douglas and Backyard. Who are, Aaron Douglas is going to get an ankle lock on the outside right now. It's just breaking down. Into the post. Armani going down. Five men on the outside, and the heavyweight champion to the top. This is going to get ugly. This is going to get ugly quick. Oh, and he dives and he takes out all five competitors. CJ Price, the heavyweight champion, cleaning house, always willing to put life and limb on the line to defend his heavyweight title. He is also the reigning rest of the year. Don't know how the votes are going on that yet, but uh, CJ Price is making his case. Uh-oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> yeah, so, like I said, too close to the pole right now. That's what she said. Everybody down. Taylor, Douglas and CJ kind of fighting. And uh, back here starting to get up. Wow, CJ gets clobbered. Goes right into that pole, head first. Taylor, Taylor and Douglas in the ring right now. Some of these guys are definitely spent. As Douglas is number one. Uh oh, Aaron trying to trying to save himself right now. Trying to save himself. Douglas recovers. Douglas! Douglas wants that head, this third heavyweight title. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Roll up, roll up. Douglas has been eliminated. Aaron Douglas 
The most seasoned guy in the six pack challenge, the most under his belt, has been eliminated. We are down to five competitors, so damn. It looked like Aaron might have Taylor right where he wants him, but no go. It's got to be a bitter loss for Mr. Aaron Douglas. Sorry, Aaron. I'm not sure what to think right now. Taylor whips Armani. CD Price going to the top rope. That's never a good idea. Punch to the top of the head of Taylor. They've been fighting in the backyard. It's a drop kick. TJ Price on Taylor made. Oh, what, a, what an elbow by CJ Price. He never ceases to amaze me with his, with his patented elbows left and right. Nice drop kick. CJ looking to take out one of his biggest threats right now. Taylor uh, trying to recover right now. Did, did a lot of damage to, uh, to Aaron Douglas to get him out of here. Evan has still been... He's going to town on it right now. Come on, It is just too tough for the, the referee to keep up with all this action, even with the one elimination right now. Taylor's first recorded elimination. Taylor was the first guy last year to be eliminated. I got him with the cross face. This kind of goes to show you how much faith Bobby Otis has in Becker to allow him to be in this match. I mean, Becker has a legitimate chance to win this match. He is a two-time heavyweight champion. He, this is his third six-pack challenge. Oh, wow. All that weight coming down hard on Backyard. And Backyard has been with WMW since its very first show. We wrestled in the very first match. He got some mileage on him. Slaughter, T-bone suplex right there into a cover. Two. CJ Price kicks out. Nobody's going to come to the aid of CJ Price. Let me tell you that right now. All, these, all five men remaining, feeling it right now. But there is a high price on the line here, and that's the heavyweight title. CJ Price is the 25th heavyweight champion in title or run in history. Kick to the midsection. Nice, nice move by CJ to, uh oh. Into a, into a cover. He's got him. And that's all she wrote for Taylor Made. Unfortunately, Taylor had a great show and lasted 23 minutes. But that's not going to get you a heavyweight title, unfortunately. Major props to Taylor, though. Did take, out, did take Douglas with him. Oh, and Evan, Evan sees an opportunity here. CJ was recovering. Very smart by Evan to try to get out CJ. Big shot. Second one. Now they're just teeing off on CJ Price. Backyard and Evan don't even like each other whatsoever. Big clothesline turns Backyard inside out with it. Uh oh, roll up. Feet on the rope, and Evan still kicked out. Goes right back to backyard. On one count. CJ trying to do something here. Got him in like a. Like a uh, there's a cross face now. A cross face and an ankle lock. That's not good for backyard. Backyard's in a world of hurt right now. But who gets the submission? Well, he does get CJ off of him. He's gonna try to roll through here or get to the ropes. Oh, what a good kick by Backer using his long long legs there to get out of that one. That was extremely tough, breaking up two submissions. 
Back there might be sense in the end here for Evan. How proud of would Bobby Otis be? Falling for the end right now. Becker out clean. Ronnie trying to pick spots right now. Yeah, cover on Evan. Evan does kick out. We are already the 30 minute mark since this match started. Still four competitors left. Big DDT by Armani. Two count. It's tough if these guys have it in the ring trying to win this heavyweight title. You got to feel for me, guys. I got to commentate by myself for over half an hour. You should feel lucky. You get unfiltered rush. That's, that's a pretty good thing. I am a three-time heavyweight champion. Hey. Backyard might have Evan where he wants him right now. The man who took him out put him in the hospital. Ah! Ah! Wow, oh, that's shit. a big boy. He's getting tortured rack right now. Five. Oh, Cover. Oh, one, two, three. One. And Dave Dawson has just got some revenge on Backyard. The Guamas Dragon is back and he's letting his presence be known. You screwed Backyard. You screwed Backyard. And he deserved it, folks. He deserved it. Oh, what a spin kick by Armani. Into a spinning elbow. Into a cover. And we are down to two men, folks. Evan just got kicked in the face and then elbowed. CJ known for his elbows. Armani known for his kicks. And Armani, just you could tell on his face, he wanted this. He wanted it to come down to him and CJ. He didn't want any excuses for CJ Price to lose his title and blame someone else for it. Oh, Armani's yeah. gonna win the title, he's gonna beat the champ. That's, oh, yeah. that's what he told me before the show. The former Supreme Champ has his opportunity. Oh. Oh. What a big splash by CJ Price. And the balance of WMWA is in the hang. In the, it's hanging in the balance right now. Uh, Armani is the number one popular guy on the roster. CJ Price is the most hated guy in the locker room and by the fans. Contrast the styles, but both styles do they do hit hard. That's for damn sure. CJ and Armani, Armani, they have stars have been made out of the six pack challenge. Guys like Bouncer, Big C, have won their first title for Angel Dust in, in the six pack challenge. Armani has a chance here to become that star that people believe he can be. CJ Price has a chance also to shut up the nations. If no one's ever retained the six pack challenge, it, it's as big as some of the things that CJ Price has done, nothing would be bigger than winning the six pack. Big belly to belly. Into a cover. Could have a new champion. True count, no more than that though. Armani's Supreme title reign was excellent. Defeated Adrian after winning the Supreme Invitational. Side suplex. Picking him up for a second. And he's not done with him, folks. Oh, shit. Going for a third side suplex. Gut wrench suplex. He gets it. Into a cover. Armani is trying to cover all his bases here. CJ Price has beaten a lot of really good guys, including him in a non-title match. 
His title defense is... They go... He's got a quite a bit. He's up to five now. Armaki doesn't want to be number six. He wants to be the guy that end the reign. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Top rope. Let's go. This could get, could get ugly, folks. Oh! Big, big uppercut off the top rope. Damn. Mushroom stomp. DJ going to the top rope now. Frog splash. Into a cover. Ah. Armani with a shoulder up. People have made their careers off the six pack challenge. Some people let it haunt them that they lost that match or they got to the final two and they didn't win. I I mean, I made it to the final three last year, and I, I, it still haunts me that I, I should have never trust C.J. Price. If I, if I had dealt with him earlier, I might have made it to the final two and could have retained. Everyone wants to be that guy that successfully defends. Everyone wants to be the guy to win that title. Armani reverses. Oh, oh. Kick to the roundhouse kick. Educated speed of Ace Armani. He won him a few belts here, hybrid and supreme title. Will it win him a heavyweight title? Patented rolling thunder here. Oh, oh it's way right on CJ Price. Into a cover. And on the rope. It's like it or not, CJ is still young, but he's savvy in that ring. He knows where he is at all times. He knew that he was close to the rope. Didn't have to expend a lot of energy to just grab the rope. Beats kicking out. Almost nipped off into a low blow, and there's nothing the ref can do about it. There's just no DQ. I just saw with Dave Dawson coming out. Roll up. Counter. Punch to the side of the head. Another punch. Yeah. Boo. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. He's exchanging blows right now. Kick to the midsection. Irish whip. Oh, reversal. Trying, trying right now. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh! Double kick. Caught him right in the side of the jaw. Chin. Monty might have CJ dead to right right now. Oh. No stays. Nope, CJ's fighting back. Close up code breaker by CJ Price. If Douglas wasn't already bitter about being the first elimination, he might be bitter now. CJ calling for the end here. And uh, he's got that, that, oh, he's going for the belt. I thought he was going to grab a chair. Again, no disqualification. We've seen some uh, tough, extreme stuff in these matches. A lot of guys are already, I already know are bitter. Backyard cannot be thrilled that Dave Dawson is back and eliminated. Him. And the air Douglas without first and had his finish Kick to the midsection. To fade right on the belt. Into a cover, into a cover, into a cover. New champion. Head right on the title. I don't even think CJ knows where he is right now. I don't know how he kicked out. That had to be instinct. That was Fans thought we saw a new heavyweight champion right there. Even Armani's not sure what to do right now. He's just teeing off on CJ Price. Armani has to be that, that predator. He has to be... Just not let up on CJ Price. He is resilient. Whether you like him or not, he is resilient. Second kick. Punch to the ribs. Second, third, four, five. Price check right there. Out of nowhere, can he get the cover on Armani? Armani is pretty close to the rope. He's gonna have to get that arm and drag him. Smart by CJ. Kick directly to the head. Knee directly to the head. Getting vicious right now. 
TJ to the top rope. Diving head by a la Chris Benoit into a cover. He got him. What? CJ Price. What? CJ Price with a diving headline. CJ Price is the first guy in WMWA history to retain in a six pack challenge. Six pack challenges before today, and the champion has never retained. Folks, I hope you get used to that fact that CJ is not going to let us forget. I do not want every friend that 